Hello and welcome to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Mazda 3. Specifically, we're gonna be changing the coolant tank. Super common problem, the coolant tanks get little pinholes in the top, they squirt all your juice out, and of course, in a hot summer's day, you'll actually cook your engine. So it's crucial, you have a good tank, quality tank installed in your vehicle at all times. Um, we'll just have a quick look at this one. I haven't already pre-looked, so let's see, make sure. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not too bad. It's been replaced in the past, but look at this. You see how all this cracking is happening? And eventually, a little bit of pressure causes a pinhole and it actually squirts all your coolant out, which is not gonna be good. Alrighty guys, so this job's gonna take about five minutes, super duper easy. The only thing you're gonna need is basically a replacement coolant tank, which you can get from us at Parts Factory Australia. Click the title of this video and it'll take you over to the description section where you'll find the link, $63.30. We'll express post it to your door. Other than that, you're gonna need a, a little pair of pliers and some replacement coolant. If you need coolant, I'll be using water. Actually, I won't be using anything, but usually I'll be using water. I'll fill it back up to the level. While the car's running, we'll let it all circulate around and whatnot and get it right up to the proper level and throw your cap back on and that'll be job complete, guys. So. Uh, we'll jump straight into this one. Oh, one last thing. I do have to give a big shout out to uh, Southport Wreckers. They've uh, supplied us with about a thousand cars, which I'm going to show you in a second. But basically, what I do want to let you know, they sell used engines anywhere in Australia. They'll ship it directly to your door. I'll put the link to their website in the bio. You can cruise onto their webby, search for any engine you need for your car, and uh, they're some of the cheapest prices in Australia. So. I'll give you a quick look. Check this out. We've got over a thousand cars here at our disposal, and we're using them this weekend to do all these tutorial videos. That's why we're out in the bush, uh, looking a bit western, cowboy hat on, as you can see. Uh, yeah, but big shout out to them at Southport Wreckers. Alrighty, guys, let's uh, jump into this video, eh? Guys, we're going to start with these two little return hoses. You use a pair of pliers like the ones I've got here. You can pull back your alligator clip, uh, then you. Grab the hose, give it a wiggle, because what that does is it loosens off the rubber. Um, if it doesn't come off straight away, do it again. Um, moving up and down the hose, it'll soften it right up. I remember doing this when I was inexperienced, and what would actually happen is I would reef on that hose, hard as I can, and I would go like this, bang, smash here, and cut my whole finger open. So definitely follow those instructions. Guys, alligator clip again, pulling it back. And then as I said, grab it and give it a wiggle. Just like so. Then you can grab the hose. See so there's a bit of pressure there. And it pops off nicely like that. Again, tucking it out of our way. Now, the next part is actually this part down here, but the easier way to get to it is actually get your bottle off its mounts first. I've pulled the top the front one off. Just pull this back one off. You see how it's just a pressure clip? And that way, your tank's up in the air. You can cruise on down to the bottom hose, get this bottom alligator clip, pull it off. And again, as you're already aware now, you wanna rotate your bottle, get in there, and give that a twist. Just like so. Move your pliers out of the way, and then you can just twist that pipe off like so. You are gonna lose your coolant. I'm on the sand, so it doesn't matter, but if you are in your house or whatnot, you can either A, put a big towel on the ground and let it drop onto the towel, or B, if you are more, uh, if you're more experienced mechanic or something like that, you're in a workshop, you can actually evacuate all this fluid out with a little fluid extractor, so it's up to you. But as I said, I'm gonna lose my coolant I'm going to put the uh, old bottle out of the way and of course we've got to replace it with something. So I've gone ahead and I grabbed one of the parts factory replacement tanks, rip it out of the uh, box. I'm only just going to show you, we're not going to be putting a tank back on this because it's a wrecked car. But yeah, this is the parts factory tank I was talking about. They're actually made with a bit, uh, more durable plastic uh, for more heat cycles so it's going to last longer than a genuine OEM Mazda one as you can see they don't last that long 
But guys, it's exactly the same procedure, but in reverse, bottom hose on, alligator clamp. I'm not gonna put this one on this car. I'll put that one back on to show you. Let's jump into that. Alrighty guys, so we're now gonna put this one back in. And as I said, it's literally super duper straightforward, same procedure, but in the opposite direction. Uh, one thing's certain though, is you need to make sure these alligator clips are flush and straight, because if they're not, you can spring leaks. So we're gonna pull this alligator clip right up and see how I've put it exactly where it used to be and it's straight uh, perpendicular to the tank up and down. Now we can grab the bottle and we can put it back onto our two little clip mount things. So one here, one here, both at the same time. You line both of them up. And they just pop on like so. Don't forget your two hoses. So don't forget we're gonna put our alligator clips back on. Now they might have locked into, um, see how they've locked into the open position? To get them unlocked, you can just, um, yeah. So you squish down on this side and then that'll pop back into the um, correct position. And then you can just slide your hose on like so. Bring it forward and again, make sure your alligator clips are in the correct position and they're straight up and down. Okay, my other alligator clip fell over here, so make sure yours doesn't. Again, it's in the locked open position. Let's get it into the locked closed position first. And now we're gonna use our little um, pliers, slip it back over the hose where it's supposed to be, slot our hose back on, all the way up nice and flush, bring it forward and drop it into position. And guys, that's the whole coolant tank replace. I wanna make note of something. Imagine going to a mechanic, having them charge you an hour labor for a job we just did in five minutes all by ourselves. And on top of that, they're gonna charge you 200 for this bottle, when in fact they bought it directly from us for $63.30 with free delivery. So you can see what I'm trying to say to you. If you are new to parts factory guys, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna teach you how to save money when you're doing your own uh, repairs on your own vehicles. Okay guys, as I said, I'm not putting coolant back in this because this mode is gonna come out next week, but make sure to fill it back up with coolant, start your car, and even probably go on YouTube how to um, fill up a coolant system on a car. That way you see how it's done properly. So you're not taking my word for it. It's not, it's not this video, is it? Alrighty guys, um, thanks for watching another Parts Factory Australia tutorial video. Make sure to thumbs up and if you can, subscribe to the channel. That way you see all the new content we got coming out. By the way, we have a Can-Am channel. So if you're into that type of thing, definitely subscribe because there's a whole lot of action uh, coming in the near future. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.